had not seen this kind of development on this road for the last 40 years. The last time I passed here, so the road was in terrible shape. Look at it. Look at it. Mega construction taking place in St. Thomas. And look how the bridge look nice now compared to what was there the thing look nice now oh anyway remember to subscribe subscription is free remember to support the channel give your feedback we are on our journey deeper into Trintyville from Fontil and we are bringing you the best of the best of the best concerning Eastern St. Thomas and the road development. This is part of what they would say the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. Not from Abbeville to Port Antonio, but from Mark Bay roundabout to East Portland. And look at the, um, the, the, the mall in front of us, an indication of the beauty of the road that we are expecting to come here was a pothole riddled road but now i can easily cruise despite the fact that the road is yet to be asphalt and you know the last time i come here you know this road was so terrible i had to stop every every 10 feet just to move my way through as you can see the curb walls are being put in place this is a good look i had not seen this kind of development on this road for the last 40 years and what i am seeing now is great improvement to a road that was basically forgotten and condemned but now it, 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 it it's like the apple of my eye or the apple of any developer's eyes because when you look and see these roads and hundreds of acres of flat wasteland and beautiful road what does that mean for this section we'll see in time to come so as we navigate a section called Kohle, this area is notorious for tobacco production, also aki production, pumpkin and sugar. Oh man, look at this piece of barba green, or asphalt green. Oh gosh, the last time I passed here, so the road was in terrible shape. Look at it. Look at the road. Who knew that this section could get this kind of road? The last time I passed here, donkey was on patrol. Patrol was booming my car from left to right. But now, look at the work that has been done. Nice piece of asphalt. As you can see, it's not finished. But I'll be coming back to look at the improvements or the completion of when it's done give me your feedback in the comment section the citizens of this area are you satisfied with what you are seeing will your car now get some break from the parts man because you get road now you get what I'm saying anyway we are about to pass Robert Lightburn High School. Uh, he's a former member of parliament. 
he was um, I think Minister of Industry and uh, he was a government senator also so this is the Robert Lightburn High School to our left uh, it's a busy weekend I can see that they are putting in quality roads in front of the school, proper sidewalks and so on. So this is very good. Nice. Would have loved to stop but everything is closed. Uh, as usual you can see the cows and patrol munching away. But guys, after so long road actually a come to Trintyville. I, 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 I came to school in this area, born in this area, go and left and one would never know. One would never assume that this place would get road. But that is what I'm seeing now. I can see the drain work. You know those big plastic pipes that they put for drainage, I see a lot of that. Uh, what I don't see it though, I don't see at this section, I don't see much hydrant. I don't see a lot of fire hydrants. So that is something that they may want to think about, considering they would want a water truck to run in from Mark Bay to Chintyville and back from Chintyville to Mark here to refill but it's early days the road is under construction we are passing the Chintyville Health Centre at this time and I have to assume that eventually they will put in those hydrant uh, compared to the last time I was here the road is in a better state I, I can't complain this is very, very good. Very good. Very good. Sis commend them, actually. We are now in the community of Trintyville. So from Fontil to Trintyville. And we see work taking place. Not the men, because they are off on their holidays. But we can see the premix and uh, the, the, the cement trucks booming their way through. Uh, so you can see that heavy work is taking place. Uh, so this is commendable. Never knew them place I would ever get wood. This is very good. You can see the heavy excavator units. We can see, based on the last time, here was tear away, torn away, and now they have built a massive retaining wall. Do you think we should show the subscriber this beautiful piece of work? Look at it! Mega construction taking place in St. Thomas. This forgotten community once never had any road. But now you can see the wall work, the drain work taking place. Look at it. Massive investment into St. Thomas. Who knew that this would ever come? Never thought it would come. But here it is. The road work and all. Look at it. All done to perfection. Solid as a rock. Look at it. My, my, my. Who knew that St. Thomas would get this kind of investment, especially Chintyville? This is very good. Look, it's all in front of your eyes. Look at it. So guys, things are happening in the east. Look, Parsh is looking good. So guys, we can see mega infrastructure investment taking place in St. Thomas. Who knew that this kind of investment would have made into the crown jewel, one can assume, of St. Thomas, where 
you find the blue monk to coffee revered around the world they actually a make road so the farmers in this area can have better access to markets delivery of the products the professionals within this area can have access to Mark Bay and this is very good I remember there so you know the amount of car will run over that place there were times when the place tear was so till yeah yeah walk past there you wonder how the, 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 the entire hillside not just tear away and gone with everybody I run. I never know so that could have happened there so for all the persons within the Trentyville area, give me a feedback. Tell me what you think. Are you satisfied with the investment that are taking place in your community? What would you like to see done uh, to, to better, you know, improved? I don't know, but what else can the the authorities do to make your lives better yes we can see that they have installed the pressure testing pipes new water pipes has been installed and yeah that is so good I never know so them place how they get how they get them kind of investment here anyway this is good very good about time long overdue so this is very good uh, as you can see the boats are out uh, patrolling uh, for those who think you can come up here so and take even as much as an ants and leave especially those who would put the boats in Costa bus or tie them down in the back of Ada wagons just to let you know to come up here is basically one way in, one way out so one way in, one way out so if you take as much as the ants just make sure say them people are not hold you or you find your, your spot I one of them cemetery just to let you have a deeper understanding of what I'm talking about these people are hard working farming community I have families here so I know the area well uh, our friends here who are in the states now I know a lot of people so I pass a bridge named Todd now um, the pipe here there is so from a little boy in the shop here yeah man you know so as a little boy you see that green building here so just to go inside that they go play in the dirt Yep, that building right there. Those were the good old days. You know? I used to walk, especially in high school, I used to walk from Robert Lightburn to Mount Lebanon for school, back and forth, until I was able to save enough money to get a bicycle frame, then I buy the tires, the pedals, and so on, and make a complete bicycle. By the time I reached 10 grade, so I could ride to school. Then I was poor, you know, I was destitute. But, you know, I had the ambition was, it was always my ambition, you know, to claw my way out of poverty. <laughs> it might sound a bit crude, but education, as it is said by Malcolm X, is our passport to the future and it belongs to those 
who prepares for it. And I can testify to that. While I may not go into the details of, you know, the, the whole struggle and, you know, how I rise above the challenges, how I paid my way through college, how I, how I, you know, I don't want to brag or seems a bit um, showboating or insensitive to different people's circumstances. But what I'm saying is anything you put your mind to, you can achieve it as long as you have God in your vessel. Just put your mind to it and do the work and you will achieve it. Right here, my father used to make block through this bridge from Moffat Crossing. I used to run on this bridge every day on the top of the wall in the north through the bridge. And when I was a boy, this bridge was a big bridge. Now, only one vehicle can go through it. Here you have empty store or done it. Empty. Oh, she has gone. See, the signs are gone too soon. That lady, you know, used to observe me when I was little because I used to put my shirt in my pants. And she said, oh, you have so much discipline. And, you know, there are so many people in this era who has had a tremendous impact on my life. You know, I, I, I can be ungrateful. Here at the seventh day, you had a basic school. I probably went for only one semester, but that was my first school. And then, you know, I moved. And, you know, as you cruise through the community, uh, you know, it brings back memory. I used to come to a lady here, so name is still. My grandmother used to trust food from her, so, and then time the lunch used to be like five dollars, and ten dollars, and then twenty, so I could have for lunch, cause I spent some time at the Chilliville Primary. You know, I used to come on those flow infrastructure, my friends and I, and we would play at Ch Chilliville Primary School. I would play there, do a lot of play. I had friends like Alicia, uh, Trevita, Rashad, uh, all those guys. So, you know, God has been good to me. You know, coming back here, you know, looking for friends and family. It's good, you know, it, it, it humbles me in a way that I constantly have essentially a compass so I know where I'm coming from to know where I'm going because every time you're progressing you, know, you see if you are like a tree without root then you really don't have no clear direction but when you know where you're coming from this area is my humble beginning and you know, to all the people who assisted me along the way, you know yourself, I'm not going to get too much into the name calling by Spring Peace, Mount Lebanon, Moffat. I thank you and I really, really appreciate it. Some have gone and now, but they are essentially, you know, they are a piece of what I am today. So, this area, it always messy, the water come down. Don't see much work I go on here, so yet do. See some equipment, but I look forward to when I come back this side, I see some improvement, well needed improvement. Guys, thank you very much for supporting the video. I'll terminate it here. I'm going to check some family members. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Some cousin there.